our economy's on fire. We have more people working, and the people who are working are making more money. Tate Reeves has run for re-election before, having served two terms as state treasurer and two terms as lieutenant governor. His first term as governor started with a record number of natural disasters hitting the state and then a pandemic. In the wake of that, he argues, the state is in a position for growth far better than others. Well, Mississippi has momentum. We have the lowest unemployment rate in our state's history. We have more people working than any time in our state's history. Uh, we had the best year from an economic development standpoint ever in 2022 with over $6 billion in new capital investment. Reeves says he wants to continue his push to eliminate the state income tax, arguing state taxpayers should keep more of their money. He refuses to budge on expanding Medicaid, despite claims that it would help the state's struggling rural hospitals. Reeves says he doesn't buy it. The reason I'm opposed to it is because I really don't believe it's the best path forward uh, for the people of Mississippi, and I don't think it's the best path forward uh, for even those providers out there. In fact, adding 250 to 300,000 more people on our welfare rolls is not the right thing. What we've got to do as a state, we've got to continue to work to bring better jobs to our state, higher paying jobs to our state, invest in our people through workforce development and workforce training. That is critical for preparing our workforce, not for the jobs of the last 50 years, but for the jobs of the next 50 years. And that's where my focus is going to be. For Commitment 2023, Scott Simmons, 16 WAPT News.